Boy, after that 195, I don't Ooh. know how you top that one. We're going to try a 220. Matt Reinhardt, how long does it take him to, to pin through the top half of the bracket? I mean, this guy has, like, I don't know, what, nine, ten pins in under, under two minutes? He's a pinning machine, that kid. I think he faces Leo Higgins. Higgins gets past Brubaker. Watch Brad Drabenstadt, those CV wrestlers, very tested. I think Higgins gets past Drabenstadt, though. I think we see Reinhardt beat Drabenstadt in the semifinals to get to the finals. Who do you got, Johnny T? Yeah, Dragon Stud, he's been in and out of the lineup for Cumberland Valley, has has, um, has performed when called upon. I also have Matt Reinhardt getting out to that semifinal, but I'm going to go with Leo Higgins from Palmyra. This kid's wrestling really well. He was a fourth-place finisher at sectionals last year, won a sectional title. He admitted he was a little nervous going into the final against J.P. Marrero, but I like him getting out into that semifinal to face Reinhardt, but I have Reinhardt beating Higgins to get to that final. Down at the bottom of the bracket, I like Penn Manor's Zeb Pfeiffer to get out into the semifinals, where he'll face Southwestern's Seth Janney with a record of 34-2. I've got Janney getting past Pfeiffer into the final, and then in the final, I'm gonna go with Seth Janney to beat Matt Reinhardt and be your district champion at 220. I can't disagree with you. I'm looking, what a tough match. I like Spencer Gallitz a lot, but boy, drawing Zeb Pfeiffer in the first round, that's tough. Uh, Pfeiffer gets all the way out to the semifinals. I like Seth Janney. He's on a roll. Uh, I think he gets out of here, beats Seb Pfeiffer, gets to the finals, beats Reinhardt's just too much. And as a sophomore, very good. I think he beat Omar Haddad earlier this year. Gets out, out to the finals and wins it.